Welcome to Chapter 7. There are nine learning outcome in this chapter. Number one, state the hierarchical classification based on linear classification and Wood's domain system. Number two, explain the concept of binomial nomenclature. Number three, state the component in the five kingdom system of classification. Number four, state the component in the six kingdom system of classification. Number five, state the component in the three domain system mechanism. Number six, describe the level and example of biodiversity in Malaysia. Explain the importance of biodiversity in Malaysia. Explain the factor that give negative effect to the biodiversity and also describe the action taken to conserve the biodiversity in our country. There are two subunits in this chapter. 7.1 is taxonomy and 7.2 is biodiversity. Under taxonomy, we are going to discuss about the binomial nomenclature, hierarchical classification and three domain system. Under biodiversity, we will be discussing about biodiversity in Malaysia, level of biodiversity, the important and the negative effect to the biodiversity and also the conservation of biodiversity in our country. Hello, my name is Ursus. This name was given to me based on the system developed by Linnaeus in 18th century. His system is a scientific discipline concerned with naming and classifying organisms of all over the world. 7.1.1 Binomial Nomenclature This is the system of naming living organisms by using a unique two-part name. Here is Pantera Pardus, the example of the scientific name for leopard. As you can see here, Pantera refer to the genus and follow with Pardus, which is specific epithet. For the genus, Pantera, the first letter have to be in capitalized and for the specific epithet, have to start with the small letters. If this name has to be printed, we need to type it in italic form. But if this name has to be in handwritten, we have to underline the whole name while writing it. This slide is an example of the organism with their common name as well as their scientific name. So here we have cat, lion, orangutan, giant panda, durian, pineapple, corn and rafflesia. 7.1.2 Hierarchical Classification this system is the system of grouping organisms according to the hierarchy of increasingly inclusive category. Species that appear to be closely related are grouped into the same genus. A taxonomy unit at any level of hierarchy is called a taxon. An organism was arranged in eight levels which begin with the broadest category followed by more inclusive categories. As for example here, we have Pantera pardus. As you can see here from the bottom, Pantera pardus belong to the domain of Eukarya and belong to the kingdom of Anomalia, Phylum Cordata, Class Mammalia, Order Carnivore, Family Felidae, Genus Pantera and species name is Pantera pardus. Five Kingdom Classification this classification was developed by Whitaker in 1969. There are five kingdoms, which is Monera, Portista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Kingdom Fungi was added from previous classification. The classification of organism for this five kingdom system is only based on morphological observation only. Six Kingdom classification was developed by Woods in 1977. Kingdom Monera has been divided into two different kingdoms, which are Eubacteria and Archaeobacteria. The six kingdoms are Eubacteria, Archaeobacteria, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. The classification of organism for these six kingdoms based on the evolution and molecular. Genetic. 
This slide show to you the similarity and differences between U bacteria and archaea bacteria. So the differences make U bacteria and archaea bacteria are separated into two different kingdom. As for the similarity, they are prokaryotic cell have no nucleus. They are single cell have ribosome and they do not have membrane bounded organelle. As for the differences for U bacteria. They have peptidoglycan in their cell wall, cannot survive in extreme environment, and the example of U bacteria is bacteria and cyanobacteria. As for the archaea bacteria, they have no peptidoglycan in their cell wall, can live in very extreme environment, and the example of archaea bacteria is thermophile, halophile, and methanogen. Table 1 show history of organism classification. It started with Linnaeus in 1735 and the latest one is Woos 1919. Along the way, we have a few systems of classification. So, as you can see here, for the Winteker 1969, Monera are divided by Woos into two different kingdoms, which is U bacteria and Archaea bacteria. Then, as we refer between Copeland and Whittaker, Copeland have four kingdoms, but Whittaker have five kingdoms, where Whittaker add up fungi as a new kingdom. So this is the history of the organism classification that actually valid until now. The importance of binomial nomenclature for the scientific communication where it enables scientists to communicate biological knowledge efficiently to avoid confusion as no two organisms can have the same scientific name. Documentation help in the world's biodiversity recording process. The last one, to develop strategies for protection and conservation of endangered species. 7.1.3 Three Domain System This system was proposed by Woods et al. in 1919. This classification is based on molecular biological study. All the organisms are classified into three domains, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. This domain system is above the kingdom level. As you can see here, the three domains are archaea, bacteria and eukarya. Under domain archaea, there is domain archaea bacteria. Under domain bacteria, there is kingdom eubacteria. Under domain eukarya, there are plantae, fungi, animalia and protista. This slide show to you a group of organisms that actually belong to the same kingdom and to the same domain. As for example here, we have domain eukarya and kingdom animalia. Most of the organism that falls under kingdom animalia is multicellular, no cell wall, ingest their own food and live on land or in the water. For example here is coral, sponges, fishes, insect, worm, reptile, birds and mammal. So this is the example for the organism that belong to the kingdom animalia and domain eukarya. Phylogenetic tree is the diagram show evolutionary relationship among various biological species based upon similarity and differences in their physical or genetic characteristics. The pattern of branching in phylogenetic tree reflect how species or other group evolve from a series of common ancestors. Each branch point represents the divergence of two evolutionary lineage from a common ancestor. Basically, tree of life has three domains, which is bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. This classification scheme 
emphasize difference between three main group based on their phylogeny. So as the note here, represent the common ancestor of all organisms alive today. So as the branches, this note here represent the common ancestor of archaea and eukarya. Then, as we move to the more branches, this is the note for plant, fungi and small animal are small branch tip of their tree life. This slide show to you the phylogenetic tree starting from taxon order. So for example here carnivora branching into another taxon which is family. We have Feldi, Mustiladi and Candi and branching into genus Panthera, Taxidae, Lutra and Canis. And the last branch will be the species. So here from the order Carnivora, we have Panthera pardus, Taxidia taxus, Lutra lutra, Canis latrins and Canis lupus.